Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very special. It's a collaboration with Caroline. Um, as her new baby is approaching, um, we wanted to do something, or she wanted to do something um, baby related. So uh, she has a little book where she will keep everything for, for the baby. Um, and we wanted to make a book cover for it uh, out of fabric. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Obviously we started with a pattern so we measured out the little booklet and we just added two extra centimeters, one for seam allowance and the other one just for the book to have a little uh, more space. And as for the pattern, it consists of three pieces which we cut out multiple times, uh, we will show later on. This is front and back piece, um, here I'm adding the seam allowance and just cutting. This will be part of the inner pocket. This little piece also needs to be cut out twice. Uh, we used two different materials. Um, we also did a rectangle shape um, in the same material, uh, which will be then basically top stitched on the front of the booklet. So as you can see here we have all the pieces together, first we will sew on the decoration part I was telling you about and the next that little round shaped um, pattern that we will use for uh, opening and closing the book. Next up is we use the bias tape to give it a nice touch, it's completely optional but it always looks nice. Then for the round piece you want to cut out little notches as this will allow you to pop it inside out um, easier and to get the nice round shape. After that we top stitched it as it also looks not much nicer. So here we start to put things together uh, and we are going to attach the round piece and for that you want to find the middle part of, um, of this rectangle and you place it as so. And now the inner pockets go on top of each side. And ultimately the second uh, rectangle that goes on top. Make sure you align all corners and you pin them in place if needed. So you will sew around and don't forget to leave a little piece of opening because you will later on flip it inside out. Always cut the excess fabric as it makes the edges pop out easier. Turning it inside out was a little difficult because the material we were using was very thick. We did iron it afterwards and then we ultimately attached a little press button. Make sure you check where the buttons align and then you can press the second one. And this part is completely optional, we wanted to make a fun little um, book marker. Um, first we thought we can make it in shape of the fish but then turning it in inside out um, was very tricky because um, the fish was very thin so we just went with a um, rectangle. And then to attach it we used the bias tape, um, we measured out the length and we double folded it, um, top stitched it and then put the two pieces together. And this is the little piece that we left unsewn where we turned uh, it inside out. We stick it in there and we hand stitched it. And that's all it is to it. It's really simple and easy project, a DIY. Uh, you could even make this for somebody and give it as a gift. Thank you guys for watching and leave us some comments or questions if you have any. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.